Hey there, God bless you. I have a quick word from the Lord to share. Let's jump right in. Proverbs 7 is about the forbidden woman. I've always looked at the woman described here as the very opposite of who is described in Proverbs 31, that wise woman that should be reverenced. The Proverbs 7 woman is seductive with hidden agendas. She's bold and persistent. She's flattering, but she's wayward and her ways lead to death. This woman is seducing many today. One of the first things said about her is that she is dressed like a prostitute. There are so many ways to be seductive. I remember one time uh, I had a married coworker. She had this long, long hair and she wanted a younger man, even though she currently had a husband. And she would sit on a picnic table and just comb her long hair. And she did it intentionally thinking that was going to catch a young man. That is so nonsense. And I don't really know what that is, but I understood the intention and the spirit behind it. Seduction doesn't always look like the clothes of a prostitute. There are two things here. Both will protect your soul. First, the obvious Being intentionally seductive, no matter how basic it is, is sinful and demonic. It took a long time for me to break free from this some years ago because we're so inundated with this kind of culture. They want you to be seductive. It's a part of life. It's an exchange that everyone is making. But this is absolutely sinful and demonic. And to be clear, I'm talking about our motives, our hearts, and our intentions, not anyone's response to us. But here we go. Second, there are many being flattered and seduced in pulpits around the globe. People will flatter you, say sweet things, and capture your attention with seductive mysteries and doctrines of devils. There's a lot of, there are a lot of people that have programs and steps to achieve the things of God, and they can suck you in with sweet words and with flattery. This is dangerous. Just like that proverb, seven women, these roads lead to death. And it's so important for us to discern seduction when it's here. Let's all be careful to recognize when we are being enticed and seduced, knowing that the enemy is nearby. This is what the Lord was speaking to me today. Take what you need from this message and God bless you. Praise God. Talk soon.